Closer to the winter months, many parents are trying to do everything they can to keep their kids healthy. One common issue for kids, strep throat. Dr. Kristen Farr with East Tennessee Children's Hospital has advice for treating your kids. Typically, we'll see a child present with fever. A lot of times they'll have headache, vomiting, abdominal pain, and of course, the sore throat. What we do, don't usually see with strep though, uh, which I think is important for patients and parents to understand is we don't usually see a lot of coughing or congestion. So it's a, it's a bacterial infection um, that invades your oropharynx or your throat. Um, and it causes, you know, obviously an infection uh, causing the high fever, sore throat, and of course all the symptoms we talked about. Um, but it is a bacterial infection and it does require antibiotics for treatment. Um, if you don't treat it, then the complications can affect your heart or it can affect your, uh, your kidneys. So it's important that you seek out care and that you, um, that you do take the full course of antibiotics. And one thing that parents and patients should understand is that sometimes you'll feel better after 48 or 72 of the hours of the antibiotics, but you really need to finish the entire course in order to fully treat strep. Um, but some other things you can do at home are, of course, supportive. So making sure that you're drinking enough and staying hydrated. Um, sometimes, you know, warmer liquids can be more soothing. Motrin and Tylenol just to help with the fever, the sore throat. Um, those are usually some things you can do at home. So I will say most of the time, our antibiotics work really well for strep. It's really unusual to find a resistant case. Um, sometimes when um, patients don't improve with strep, it's because they have a number of allergies and we're having to use a you know, third line kind of treatment. One, one complication that we look for if you've had a recent strep infection is that sometimes you can develop, rarely, but you can develop an abscess in your, uh, in your tonsils. Um, that's really unusual if you do start the antibiotics like you're supposed to though, but that is a complication that we look for. But luckily our antibiotics are pretty good and they actually work pretty well.